All right, so today we are going to talk about setting up a month's worth of emails um, in your MyWikert system in one day. And then once you get super good at it, you could do it in an hour. Um, so it's easy, three steps. You go to MyWikert, to Marketing tab, to Schedule Your Mass Emails, and then the big green button that says Schedule Email. All right. So a good um, four week plan, if there's four weeks in the month for your email schedule, my brain, uh, it's been a long day. So for week one, you could send a newsletter. For week two, you can send um, a self-promotion, like if you are doing a, um, an event or a webinar or something like that, something specific for buyers or specific for sellers, something like that. Or if you know of a community event that you just want to share with your uh, database, that'd be a nice thing to send as well, because it's not just um, real estate related. Like the newsletters are real estate adjacent. Um, but if you have just say a community event happening, uh, a lot of things are going to be happening soon because it's fall. So there's a lot of like apple picking, pumpkin picking, and then Thanksgiving things, uh, turkey trots, stuff like that. Um, and then stuff around Christmas time as well. So that'll be super easy to, to fit, fit into your email scheduling each week. Uh, week three, you could do another newsletter. Weikert Marketing has made a bunch from last year, I think even the year before to today, they come out every other week or they're supposed to. Um, so that's why you're sending them every other week here. They're already made for you, super easy to schedule and uh, get going, I guess. And then week four, you could do a market report. So I have a few different ways to do market reports that I'm going to, to show you as well. So going to, okay, so we're in my wiker. You're gonna go marketing. And then you're going to go down to schedule mass email. So I'm just doing a, a little walkthrough of how to do the scheduling. You've got schedule email. Of course, my dog is barking. He only barks when I'm live doing a, a presentation <laughs> or I'm on the phone. So when you're in your mass email scheduler, you can start here. So this is who you're sending to. You can either do a saved filter, you could do specific hashtags, um, or you could do a specific status. And I'm just gonna test this one right here. Cause I'm pretty sure you can do multiple hashtags, but now it's not gonna find it. There we go. Let's just do a random one. Okay, yeah. So you can do multiple hashtags. So depending on how your group of people is organized in your CRM, you can send to multiple people. Um, with filter, you can only send to one. And with a status, you can drop down here and choose them all. Or if you speak to your sphere differently than you speak to your prospects, you could just stick with one. You could do active leads and new leads, same thing. So now that we have the who, um, we have the scope is you, um, and then the when. So you choose, we're gonna send this one on Friday, and then you have to click okay, because if you do just click this and then click out of it, it won't update here. So that's an important thing to remember, just click okay. And then your time. So you can choose anywhere from midnight to midnight, or I guess 1130. Um, best times I've heard if people are interested um, around noon maybe or around one because that's people's lunch break. They're on their phones. They're looking at their email. Um, I've also heard I guess like right around dinner time because after dinner people go on their phones again check their email. I always send things at like 8 a.m. because if you're sending to a lot of people in your mass email scheduler, um, KV Core is gonna take chunks of those people. So I have all three of these statuses going. There might be thousands of people in there. 
So if I start at 8 a.m., that's when the chunks of my email will be going out. Um, uh, they do that to not spam people, hopefully, or, or not send your email to spam. But then, uh, so they start at 8 a.m. and then they'll go throughout the day, hopefully as close to 8 a.m. as possible. All right, so we have who, when, and then we need what. So one of the templates I wanted to show you was a market report. Okay, monthly market report, summer set. And I just named it what happened last month because that's sort of like, if that's in your inbox, people are like, what do you mean? What happened last month? Who are you? Let me click it and open it and see what you have to say. So every month for my agents, I make this. Um, I try to do it first of the month as close to as I can. Um, so this one is stats from August that you can send out in September. So I go to a website, RE Datum, and I find all these stats. I make a little fancy graphic in Canva, and then I put it in the monthly market report Somerset. So that's the same template name every month, but this graphic is different. So it's easy to find if you remember where to look. So it says what the new listings were from uh, last year to this year. So there's a dip in new listings, a dip in monthly inventory, an increase in sales price, and an increase on days on market. So I just did a little blurb. I do not have an active real estate license, so I technically can't talk about real estate. So this is just a blurb based on this graphic. So you can go in here and you can add whatever you want. You can make it sound like you um, in a different way because mine is sort of just generic, like, and this one up, this percent, whatever. Um, so again, the template is here for you to use as is or to edit. And then I added a free home estimate button because if people are like, oh, days on market are increasing, um, and but sales prices are increasing, whatever, they want to see what's going on with their own home. So this will go to your website, to your sell page. Um, so this auto fills right here, agent website slash sell. And then you can see what that looks like right here. This is my website slash sell. And then this pop-up comes up. They put in their home address. Um, annoyingly, they don't put in their name or phone number or email. So you sort of do have to do a little bit of digging when you get a home valuation, but they do their address, they click next. Um, they might actually have to put in their email in the next step. And if they put in a false email or something like that, they obviously won't get the valuation. Um, but you'll capture their information here and you'll see that they're interested in what their home is worth. So that will lead to a conversation about possibly selling their home. So this is one market report um, that you can send out here. Uh, you can do the fourth week of the month. You could switch this around and do it the first week, second week, whatever works for you. Just know that it's in your email template system and it's ready to go. So we've got, I guess I'll actually do it because you wanna see what it looks like, right? So we'll set things up for oops, hello, October. So a good day to send things out, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because Friday people are done with the week. Monday, people are catching up with work and all of that other stuff. So we'll go Tuesday, okay. And then I'll go the, the perfect time, as they say, 12.30 p.m. So I've got my monthly market report, and then I don't have to put my email signature here because it's right there. And then I go schedule. So my um, <clears throat> my contacts that I'm sending to is all agents. So if I forget to delete these, you'll get them. But <laughs> we'll try to remember that I did that. All right. So the second one 
you could do holiday promotion, all that stuff. What's coming up in October besides Halloween? I don't know, actually. But we could always find something in marketing, smart campaigns, templates. So then I can look up September and find Weikert's newest um, newsletter for September. And it says, want to move home ownership well, they motivate you. So these are nice. Again, Weicker makes them every other week or so. Um, and they're nicely branded. They have a good graphic up top always um, that you could even save this image and post it to your social media. So it's like, it's already made for you. And then in the comment, you could be like, ask me how or whatever. And then you could send them this email. So here is our newsletter. This fills in because it's a merge tag. So hello, first name. Um, and this is all about building wealth through home ownership. So it's good for your CRM. And then here it does fill in all of that stuff. Uh, fills in the unsubscribe button. So it's legally compliant and it's nice. So we'll remember this one is want to move. So then again, we can go to marketing, schedule your mass email, schedule email, and feel free to, to do this along with me if you want. So then we already have one for October 3rd, right? So now we're gonna go October, oh no, we did the 4th, because it's the Tuesday. We'll go 11th, same day of the week, where are we? My eyeballs don't work. Same time of the day. So then you are in their email inbox, same time, same day uh, of the week. And then, oh wait. So they get used to seeing your face consistently over the week. So here we go. I can, uh, again, edit any of this if I want to, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna hit schedule. And then why not do another newsletter because they're already made for me. So you go marketing, smart campaign, templates. And then if you go newsletter, just in the search bar here, You can see they all start with Weikert. So this list is alphabetical. So you just go Weikert, marketing, and see the date. So some of them are seasonal, um, like the July and June would be summertime, December would be some winter stuff, but a lot of them are timeless. So you can add them um, and send them at any time. But one thing I did wanna show you was my personal marker report that I did make when I had an active license. It is called KD Market Report. And this is what it looks like. So this month's market report. I did just a Weikert logo that might be out of date actually. Um, and then I said, curious to know what's going on in the New Jersey housing market. Click on the image to get this week's market report. I worked in Essex County, so that's why it's for Essex County. Uh, but you could also head to this page to search for your own market report for any county, borough, or town you're interested in. So this image is clickable. It will bring people, I actually don't even know if it's still live. It's been a long time. Yeah. So this is a market report for Essex County because that's where I pulled my prospects from that go into my CRM. Uh, so I didn't want to go too specific. So you can do Somerset County if you want or wherever you're working. Um, and then I gave them the option to go to this page. 
which is just the generic marker report page, I believe. Yes, so here they could just start typing in something themselves, like if they're going for Hillsboro. I just thought. Now it's not going to cooperate, but they can search any area. And apparently this is attached to your MLS. So as long as your MLS covers the area that they are typing in. So I think there's a problem with my website and my MLS, but they'll be able to type in an area and get the market report for that. Um, so that again, just the generic head to this page to get your own market report. Uh, and then the bottom, I did a little who I am. So they're not just like getting this and they don't know where it came from. So new mom, new realtor, here to help you find your dream home in New Jersey. Um, and it even has an old email address. And then there's me and my baby. So that was taken, I guess a year and a half ago. So he's super tiny, but it's like, I guess what they would call a lifestyle photo because it's, it's candid. It's us just hanging out in my backyard. And he's got a wiker balloon from the open house I did that day. So I think it's super cute um, and obviously branded to a wiker. So that is actually another um, email that I can schedule for the month of October if I felt like it. So again, we'll do a filter, all my agents, and then we'll go October 18th. Same day. Why am I having such problems with <laughs> seeing all these? Okay, 1230. Same time. Template. KG marker. And this marker report, because these pages are oh, the, the Essex County marker report, they're always live and they're always updating. I can send this template out without even editing it. I don't have to edit this link. I don't have to edit this link. It's already made. Um, and I just send it every month. So if somebody is curious about what's going on in that market, they can click on it and find out themselves. And if you're sending something every week, people might not be opening them every week. So it's fine to send the same thing every month um, until people start clicking and become active leads. So we're gonna do the 18, 12, 30. And you could have like a more exciting headline here if you want, um, but I just did this month's marker report and then schedule. So then we have one week left in October and I'm just going to try to find a template in here. So it is for October 25th which is close enough to Halloween that I can do a Halloween one. So same time, same day. And we do have some like generic Halloweens. This is probably from last year actually, I might have to update them. But there's happy Halloween. Navigating the housing market doesn't have to be frightening. And then we also have, let's see. Halloween two. Oh, it's just a different thingy there. Yeah, I'll definitely update these so they have a different picture on all of them. These are boring, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, so again, you can do your Halloween one. Um, the spooky season brings extra foot traffic from trick or treaters. That's one specific day. And then Asian signature. So that's close enough to Halloween that it's good to send out. So then we will hit schedule. And that is our month of emails done in 20 minutes. Look at that. Um, so we knew what we were looking for, or I did, um, based on the marker reports that I've made. 
uh, previously in my template folder. So I knew that they were there, but I have a market report um, for Somerset County overall with a pretty graphic. And then we have a Weikert newsletter already made for me, which is so nice. And then my personal market report and then something timely like Halloween. So that's ready to go. And now I can sit back and wait for people to answer me. <laughs> and then if you would like to see who opens them, you can head to your dashboard and your name will be here. But if you go email events in this little drop down, for some reason, this one takes a while to think, takes a longer time than any of these. But as opposed to going to each individual person in your CRM and seeing if they opened it, this email event will tell you if they opened it. So um, like none of these people answered me, but I know that they did open it 17 hours ago, 18 hours ago, two days ago, all of that stuff. So I know that they read it, so I can contact them in a different way. If I click on him, I have his phone number and his email address. I can always give him a call and say, hey, did you see my email? Do you wanna talk about what's going on in Somerset County at all? Or do you want a marker report for something more specific um, wherever he's looking to buy, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in creating your own monthly template, uh, it's relatively easy once you get the hang of the advanced editor. So we're going to go to marketing, we're gonna go to smart campaign, and then templates. So you wanna do this big green button, add a template, email template, and then this blue button will bring you to the advanced editor and it'll ask you if you're sure. And then from here, it's sort of just a drag and drop, whatever you want um, to do. So you can go image, and then you can go text, um, and then you want to go. I guess the the main things you want on the bottom there are image and text because you can browse. You have to upload these which I obviously can show you how to do. You go to your folder, hit upload. Uh, but to be legally compliant, you do wanna have your equal opportunity logo in there. Um, and you do wanna have an unsubscribe button. So here, it's just a text box. If you go to merge tag, you can go unsubscribe URL. So when you're mass emailing people, especially, like prospects that are just um, cold emails, as they would say, you want to give them a chance to unsubscribe because they technically didn't consent to um, getting your emails. So they have a chance to unsubscribe if they want to. That's actually why if you've sent a text message through the system recently, you'll see that initially it says like, if you no longer want to hear from us, please reply stop or something like that because now that has to be in there to be legally compliant as well. So if you do want Weikert logos, you can head to Weikert tools, which actually is at the bottom of your, my Weikert there. And then I believe it's in marketing resources. Scroll down and this little plus sign next to it, Weikert logos and graphics. So this will open up a zip file. So you just have to double click to unzip and then your Weigert logos are here. So there's a few different ones that you can use. This bad boy, this one, and they are grayed out. So it doesn't have a gray background. It actually has a transparent background, which is nice because you can put it on any colored background that you want. And then just Weigert. So you can upload any of those to your system here as well. And then to put in a logo, I'm just gonna do this one. And then on this side here, 
auto width will fill the whole banner. You can toggle that guy off and then make it smaller. Um, so the only thing I've heard about logos is they have to be bigger than your name. So this is a good size because your name is gonna be this big, which is gonna be smaller. Um, and then you can do your weekly newsletter. And then link to market report. And then how to get to your market report. I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you, but I am recording this. <laughs> you can head to your website, uh, which you can find in this drop down here. And then, oh, and I got rid of my new template. That's okay. This sell page right here. Oh, no, wait, I'm lying. The buy page. And then this button right here says free market report. So you click on that and this URL right here is where people can get a free market report. And if they're not in your, oh no, they should be in your system because you're obviously emailing them. But if you do send this out like on social media, you could always say, hey, get a free market report for your area here. Uh, it will have a pop-up originally that says um, sign up with an email address. Let's see. Yeah, so as I'm looking, it says, if you want the information that you're looking for, you have to give us your email. <laughs> so I accidentally clicked off of it. I have to start over. So again, marketing, template, add template, email. And then we drag our image. We drag our text. So, uh, link to market report. And to just put a, a link on uh, text here, you just highlight and then hit this little chain. And then this is the URL that we've copied and we pasted here. Uh, you can underline it so it people know that it's a clickable link um, or you don't have to if it's, it bothers you in any way. And then text to display is what I've typed. You could always do something different. And then here, uh, it will open in a new window so they stay on your um, email. So then you do OK, and you see that it's underlined now, so it is clickable. And then same thing for an image. We're just going to drag our image here. Browse. And then here's my marker report image. So then if I click this, it's highlighted. And then on the right side here, again, I can make it smaller if I want, or I can do full, full width. And then your action here is where you want to change your URL. So this URL is the, where the image lives in your image library. So you don't want to change that one. You want to go down to action and you can have them open in a web page. Again, paste our link there. Uh, and then if you want padding at all, you want to make it look fancier, you can do that. So then to get back to dragging and dropping our content, you just hit content again and then your text. So you can do um, a little message anywhere you want. And then again, you really want to add your equal opportunity logo. You want to add a disclaimer and you want to add your unsubscribed merge tag. And then here you have to name it because it needs a name in order to live in your folder. So I usually do my initials and then what it is just because it's easier for me to find now. And if something's in there that's marker report, just generic, then you might get it confused with the one that's your initials slash marker report. And then subject is what 
the recipient will see when it lands in their inbox. So uh, like the other one I had is just this month's, this month's marker report, but you can do something fancier like uh, because a marker report will show It will show the amount of homes for sale, price reductions, um, average home price, most expensive, popular listings, recent listings. Um, you could take one snippet of this uh, and be like zero reductions. So your subject line would be zero reductions, reductions. <laughs> this month, exclamation point. So people get that in their inbox and they have no idea what you're talking about. So they want to click on it and see what it is. Uh, and then you can write your little blurb about it. And then hopefully they'll click and start learning about the market and being an active lead for you. All righty. Oh, and then once you're happy with everything, you got your name, your subject, your body there you just do add template and then it is in your template folder here easily searchable with this um and then you're good to go to your scheduler and schedule that email out so again if you want to make your own each week you can uh if you do like a, a mini marker report or a what's going on in the town sort of thing. Or if you make YouTube videos or something like that, you could obviously send that out and be like, hey, check out my new video, check out my new Instagram post or whatever, and do that as well. But if you're just starting out and want to do this, then you can always do two newsletters, uh, marker report, and then your personal marker report or a holiday self-promotion, that sort of thing. Um, and then I just had this as a reminder for that marker report, you go to your website, you hit buy, and then free marker report. Um, are there any questions? All right. So the last thing I wanted to remind you of is on the 22nd, which is next Thursday at 10 a.m. We're doing, are you smarter than an MTS? So it's a little workshop. Um, you've got a listing, now what? Uh, all the things that you can do in my MyWikert and then digitally and of course with your MTS. And then we're gonna do a little interactive game show um, where anybody can join. All righty. That's all I had. If anyone has any questions, obviously feel free to email or call me. I'm always here. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining. Have a good night.